How you do, Buckaroos? How the heck are you? I am trying to be a whisperer. I got this brand new one from Springfield Brewing Company. Actually, I looked it up on their website, uh, but they don't have a list. They have an older version of a Colts that they did, so I'm just going to read a little bit from their bottle here. Uh, Colts style ale, an ale that drinks like a lager, crisp malt tones matched with herbal German noble hops and a dry finish. Koozie Colts style ale from Springfield Brewing Company. So there you go. It's perfect Colts weather. It's a great style that gets overlooked in today's beer world when everything has to be either <laughs> has to have 100 IBUs and whack your palate out of joint or it has to be so sour it makes your keister pucker or have peanut butter, banana, marshmallows, <laughs> asparagus, brussels sprouts, everything has to have 100 ingredients. You know, I, I, the problem is, in my opinion, I suppose I guess I have to say that. People always point out what I don't say. It's, <laughs> you know, craft beer, before it was called craft beer, was just about making beer again, you know. The, the, the early pioneers of craft beer who get overlooked now were just trying to make beer like it was supposed to be made. And the problem is when people do make a great beer like this, uh, you know, folks call it average. You know, it's not an average beer. Just because your palate doesn't understand the style doesn't make it an average beer. Just that mentality makes me crazy. Having said that, a lot of nice malt notes on the nose. This was bottled on, uh, or packaged on 6.5 of 17, so it's fairly new as I do this video. You do, oh, excuse me, you do feel some of those uh, earthy tones that they, uh, or herbal tones that they, that they say you, you might get a hint of uh, peppery notes as well. Oh, biscuits, that's good. So I, I, I cheated a little bit. I usually, when I do the videos, it's the very first beer that I've had, but I did have one the other day before I was able to do the video. So I knew what I was tasting. Boy, this beer is fine. It is a great Kolsch. It is one of the best craft Kolsch's, best non-German Kolsch-style ales that I've ever had. It really is good. Again, some nice, some nice Pilsner malt. You really feel that in there. Again, you feel the herbal notes that they describe. Uh, I'm kind of getting a hint of pepper at the end. I don't know what, what hops are in here. If I had to guess, if I had to hazard a guess, I'd have to, I'm kind of feeling some holler towel and sauce, but yeah, I could be completely wrong. It's kind of what I'm tasting there. Uh, but there's no telling. Uh, the bottom line is it's just a great beer. It's a great beer for this weather. It's been, you know, uh, upper 80s, uh, very muggy uh, in the Ozarks. So, uh, I mean, a beer like this just is crisp. It's refreshing. It just tastes good. I wish craft brewers would just get back to making beer again. I wish these crazy trends of everything having to taste like fruit juice or having to have 100 ingredients would go away and, and brewers would just get back to making real beer again. That would be great. Wouldn't that be great? <laughs> oh, mercy. I'm just tired of trendy drinkers, right? I'm tired of folks that are just hopping on each trend. And these guys are really ruining craft beer for the rest of us. I just want to enjoy a beer, man. Can I just enjoy my damn beer without your pretentious ass all over it? Springfield Brewing Company, downtown Springfield, Mo. If you ever happen to be in the, in the neighborhood, you should stop. Uh, every once in a while, they have something on tap that they don't bottle, so it's nice to go in there and check to see. And in my opinion, man, they're doing some great stuff lately. Uh, they kind of got thought of as an average brewery for a while, but over the last, I'd say, half dozen years, they've really kicked it up a notch and been doing some great beer. This thing, in my opinion, is a home run for a Colts. It really is. Excuse me, hold on. Oh, excuse me. Goodness, it is a home run for a Colts. It really does everything right. It is one of the very best non-German Colts-style ales I have ever had. It really is that good. So there you go. 
It's so good. It was so hot that I've drank this in just about five minutes, man. I was thirsty, and it was cold. But yeah, you know what? Uh, I, to me, a beer like this, this style, I do want cold. A lot of craft beers, uh, you know, you, you may want somewhere between, you know, uh, 45 to 55. A Kolsch, I really like cold. Somewhere between 35 and 40. And again, my opinion, that's how I personally like this stuff. I am Tony Beer Whisperer. Beer Evangelist. Prolific beer drinker. Purveyor of wisdom and... Oh, baby, that's what dead and I. All around good guy.